Doran believes he has unlocked the secrets to the next expansion. And you're going to hear it first. That's right, I'm revealing the next expansion live right now. So buckle up, boys. Put your cocks in your pants and get ready. Because you're about to bust. So not only will you discover these pieces see what the next in the all about. new PTR builder. Hey, we saw this. This is a badass helm. These are badass. Two days ago, but Blizzard also started changing some stuff in the background, renaming. Did you get the weapon? No, I did not get my fucking weapon. I'm gonna open my vault right after this video. Related to voice. We'll see. If you may remember, but we, we didn't kill him yesterday. So. Leaks with a lot less I don't even have a shot at it. This perfectly aligns with this prediction that this guy had, who predicted BFA, Shadowlands, and even Dragon Fights so many years ago, and he confirms something with Yasharaj coming next, which is naturally a Void expansion. Oh, At the same yeah. time, we have a ton of hints of the Eastern Kingdoms getting a revamp with lit hundreds of new models constantly being added and another side of Azeroth which is quite literally Azeroth Shadow so are we going to get the oh, shadow wait, of Azeroth other side of Azeroth Azeroth Shadow shadowy is void void is void lords what Expansion that could not only be based on the Eastern this man Kingdoms, played 40 but it chess? could be related to the other side of Azeroth known as the shadow of Azeroth as MRPG players, you guys can probably heard of Lineage 2, but Lineage 2 Essence was Ooh. released a few years back to bring the best features to modern gaming, and they just released a super cool Never new Never played update. this game. They just released a new class assassin, members of the Secret Note the organization available to male humans and female Dark Elves. Best of all, you can change your class immediately to it. Oh, this is like a Triple D Sylvanas? Is that what this is? Triple D Sylvanas? That's what we got going well, on You here? can change your class immediately to Not it. Bad. We got new crossover territories, Calvin's Fortress, Pagan Temple, Garden of authority and brand new 13 types of immortal weapons my alt got it game, when i checked my vault on saturday thanks for letting me know skills. judge the coolest thing about the appreciate that appreciate all, you rubbing that in play. it gets auto battle and you got everything from Thank crazy you. raids to large scale castle sieges to pet trapping and the creation activities but best of all essence is all about cross server where players from all worlds meet it's connected direct to developer meaning users get access to latest content first and a That's new great. update is coming this summer for game is the official publisher meaning high quality users support is guaranteed 100 triple d sylvanas that's what this is make sure to register using my link in the description below and you will get a hell cube from me personally which will supply you with useful items for the next 30 days to speed up your level door and lifts bro i'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with this leak but it is legit the most mind-blowing and craziest leak that we pretty much have since I'm unfamiliar with this leak. Let us talk Generally, about. leaks are these random MMO champion threads where people just make random wish lists or bait. Most recently, we started getting AI-generated art, which gets a lot worse. And sometimes oh, we God. do Damn. get some right predictions <laughs> and actual leaks from Blizzard, but this is very rare. However, this Chinese player literally managed to predict not one, not two, but three expansions like seven years ago, which is yeah. insane. We've and watched, we've looked at that chart before that guy made. It's still crazy to be just a simple coincidence. Now, I have an entire video on his logic, but let me explain to you real quick, and then we can tie this in with the new evidence and how all of this makes sense. So, his logic is actually pretty sound, and that is that Blizzard rehashes their previously successful expansions and just takes story threads out of them to make new ones, and each right. expansion, according to him, has two main storylines. So, his logic was from TBC, we got the Draenor expansion, Vaults of Draenor, yep, and we yep, got the Legion yep. expansion, talk which about that the chart. two main storylines. Seen from it Legion, he predicted successfully that we would get BFA from Old God storyline and that we would get the Shadowlands from the Lich King storyline. Yep. Even though he didn't say the expansion would be named Shadowlands, but that we would go into the Shadowlands, which is super mind blowing seeing that he said this during Legion, so five years before the announcement, and seeing that no one could My guy predict predicted all this ever, shit. it is really crazy. Then, from Cataclysm lore, he predicted that we will get a Dragon expansion and an Elemental expansion, that this will be 10.0 and 11.0, and once again, he was completely right like seven years ago. However, Blizzard, I would say, actually combined both of these into Dragon Fights, so we got the Dragon expansion with heavy Elemental environment right. and Elemental storylines, so I really think he's... Yeah, Blizzard has since pivoted and picked up the pace uh, because of, you know, player numbers and shit. I mean, when this guy predicted this stuff... WoW is on top of the world. This guy freaking predicted this shit like eight years ago. Prediction is just one Ten years like ago, I think, Dragonflight. actually. Now, next, 
his idea was that they would create a horde in the Lions Four and the Sha Lion. Yeah. Personally, well, that's not going to happen he anymore. He got this spot wrong because it was really yeah, well, we we have cross faction everything now, so there's no more horde in the Lions. Impossible Wars. to predict because I don't think Blizzard ever actually intended to unite the factions, but they had to due to they pivoted, man, because the player numbers and shit. Overall, so it would be easier for people to find groups. However, his other prediction could 100% be spot on and. What is a Sha line if not Yashiraj? And if we have anything, we if, have a If a war happens, Sam, between the factions, it's it's going to be like some branch off, like uh, like all the light, you know, all the people who worship the light on the alliance fucking break off, start their own shit, and then a war happens or something. Old God and Yashiraj hints all over the place. Even he is the current master of the seven basically. random candles we have found in a pool. Now, hold on to this thought and let us get to the new information that we have leaked literally two days ago that goes perfectly in line with it. So, Blizzard all of a sudden in the new PTR just added these faces really and helmets for the priests, which you can, of course, definitely Davy say Jones it doesn't mean much. We get a lot of thematic hints. We even got these cool Ragnarok shoulder pads and we get these hints all the time. Oh, yeah. However, keep in mind, we have literally predicted expansions with less information. Back in Worlds of Draenor, we have gotten a really strange cape from Taran Jungle that had the name Spellcloak of Suramar, which literally no one could predict at the time because we had no idea Suramar would be a large part of the next expansion. Now, next Underutilized asset, man. Every time I see Suramar, I'm like, hey, we gotta figure out a way to fucking use this city. It's such a beautiful place. I love Suramar. Next expansion. Now next down the line we predicted Dragonflight with just a few Dragon Storm Mounds we had gotten and yeah. we only needed a few strings to discover the name Basically Dragonflight judge. and that turned out to be the actual expansion name. However, this is only one part of the new information. In the new PTR, Blizzard decided to just randomly, out of a sudden, out of the blue, out of nowhere, update flag IDs and we got some new strings that are seemingly unrelated to anything, especially anything related to Dragonflight and the current storyline. They just added a map called Void Elf and it is called Shadow of Azeroth and it refers oh. to this little leftover area of Kotalas. Now don't get me wrong this area was relevant in the past with the Void Elves but it's been a really crazy mystery ever since. I mean they added this void crazy thing over it and no one really knows why it looks well, that I way and what is even going on so it is just like chilling in this state. Now to bring you up to speed this is a tiny zone that has actually been in the game since Classic. There are some old elf buildings, night elven assets, some people spec that this is the place where the High Elves made landfall when they came from Kalimdor and before they developed their sophisticated architecture and they built quite last. In practical terms, this was actually a little less Silver Silvermoon also underutilized asset. Adding quite last in Classic and only later they actually added it in CBC, but they left this little part here. Now, why I think this is actually relevant and why I'm even making this video is that for the past two, three years, we've been getting okay. so many, and I mean so many hints of the Northern Eastern was being relevant, yet True. nothing is really happening, and the most popular expansion idea before Dragonflight was that something would be happening here. In order to not repeat myself, let's quickly sum up the major point. First, Stromgard was literally rebuilt. It is only a matter of time before it becomes Looks good now. I mean, they officially confirmed it this in the book. It's Other a good city, city should have been rebuilt with a time skip. Plaguelands should have been mostly restored and the Scourge almost entirely destroyed. We've had these Scarlet Crusade <laughs> leaflets that Can't still haven't turned anywhere, and we just got hints from the new PTR about a new Scarlet Monastery, some revamps in this area. Blizzard We're going to talk a little bit more about Scarlet Monastery monastery in the next one but you know i love that shit I've been saying, give me, give me Scarlet Monastery Mystic Plus, man. I need that in my life. Seriously hinted that we will get Gilneas back through a storyline, and there was a hint with Kelly Manitel saying she will pull out the undead troops. Then, at the end of Shadowlands, we got this super random, just out of nowhere, Scourge incursion in Quotalas, unrelated to anything that has been going on, that strongly hints that the Blood Elves have almost entirely cleansed their lands and got rid of their influence, and Rebuild Silver that, Moon. there has been a three-year time skip ever since these events. Furthermore, Quotalas is in a really, really sad state to say the least. I mean, not only is it super outdated and we've discovered like a literal ton of new Blood Elf assets in Dragonfly that were they not even so all good, added man. into the game, which strongly hints of a revamp, but you literally can't even I love fly the Blood in the Elf zone architecture. in 2023. Now, recently, we learned that Dragon Knighting is coming to all continents and this will be the perfect opportunity to actually fix this area. <laughs> this could mean that Blizzard can fix Ima this. Imagine they bring Dragon Riding to the entirety of Azeroth and you still can't fly. In uh, in Quel'Thalas, imagine, They're like yep, yep, you can drag and ride everywhere, but ground your ass still when you come here because we haven't put tops on any of our buildings in Silvermoon yet. 
visible wall between the plague lands and yeah, they gotta fix that and eventually actually, they would have to address this little leftover part of Waterlass. However, let us get into the meat of the matter, and that is the super interesting name Give us the of meat, the possible Dora. expansion called Shadow of Azoth. Oh. I don't know about you, but to me, not only does this sound like a really good expansion name and like an actual expansion name, and definitely something Wizard would make, but it also has incredibly interesting implications. World of Warcraft and Shadow really of Azeroth. Cool, two, three really interesting themes like they would go with this. First of all, Shadow can naturally refer to the Void, Old Gods, Void yeah. Lords, Void right. Elves, everything really Void related. And if we have anything in Dragonflight, it is Void Hints all over the Dragon Isles. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. got more Void Hints than we have the actual main storyline. We've been getting this new Cosmic Void stuff, obviously some big stuff with the Void. Th is this cutscene should have been so much better. At least give us a whisper when he's reaching into the Void. At least a whisper. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people stop playing after this. Because they saw it and they're like, I don't know where this expansion's going and I don't care anymore. In the background, recently we got this and show the cosmic Gotta give us water more than that after you kill an end boss. Related to a loom. So, yeah. Void stuff is relevant and it could be a good expansion name related to this. Another interesting thing that people have noted is that Shadow of Azeroth could metaphorically refer to an actual shadow that is the other side of Azeroth. You probably heard about the speculation, so yeah, that'd be I don't cool. want to bother you on this, but the possibilities Pirate really expansion. are endless on this front. I mean, recently we've pretty much gotten a confirmation that there is a fifth old god and that when the Titans ordered Azeroth... I still say we might get uh, ships again. Like how dragon customization was a thing, we're going to get ship customization and ship riding in the game. I'm just saying, guys, I'm telling you, that's probably going to happen. I totally see it happening. Something beyond the waves as they couldn't order it, which could be the prison of this fifth old god. Now, interestingly enough, yeah, in, in terms the of story, JC, it kind of has been. Classic, we've known that five old gods exist that Blizzard then retconned, and they said only four exist. And now, in Dragonflight, they brought in this old document from Classic. At the time, people were saying, don't think too much into it. It is just a PTR, but it's been months now. It is actually only a Bob, but he's allowed game. to have a so boat. I think it is pretty safe to assume that there is indeed Sounds a like a good time to quit while that we are yet to discover. This could be Zelda. No, because I think they're trying things. to get rid of like the whole loading screens between oceans and all that shit. Um, I do see them making like active sailing like a thing. I think that's going to happen. Or maybe something I know people think of the shipyards from Wad, but that's not what I'm talking about. That was just some bullshit. I'm talking about like legitimate ships that you fucking customize and everything. Learn about. Plus, with the Beyond the Waves, there is a big hint that this could be related to a new continent, and all of you have probably heard of this little place called Avaloran that everyone Pirates has been talking about. Pirates of the Warcraft Oblivion. That's what At we're getting. At the same getting. time, we've been getting all these hints of the Night Elven Pirate that is only one in history to have actually ventured to the right, dark he went side, to the other of Azeroth, side of Azeroth, the hidden yep. continent, and have returned. Now, personally, I don't think pirates themselves are that interesting of a team to be an entire expansion, but this could just be devised to get us there from point A to point B. B, and he could just Damn. lead us into this place. Damn, Keep in sharks. mind, this hidden continent is apparently west just of Kalimdorn, according to legend. No one aside from him has ever returned, and he just randomly came to the Dragon Isles to not do anything, but to just give us this hint. He's going to give us a quest. That's what he's going to do. This is indeed a hint for the next expansion. Furthermore, this side of Azeroth has been called the Dark Side, and we have the Shadow of Azeroth, which obviously strongly correlates with this. On another note, the Shadow of Azeroth could also refer to the light in the void, where no, the I don't void think so, casts Charles. a shadow, or we have both of them, and it could all be the late. We you. have all these Kins Petralian, you know, so there's always a big possibility. Yeah, with the whole light shit. Now, if this really is the case, how could this expansion play out? Well, with the limited information, it is all hard to say, but I think Dragonflight is doing a really good job of actually foreshadowing this. I mean, we have strong hints of Queen and Shadow returning yeah, from that's the That's the thing. That's all Dragonflight is doing is foreshadowing. That's all. It's just a big dick tease. Like, there's nothing... There's no... And it's too much foreshadowing. Foreshadow after Shadowlands. That's all we're getting. I mean, we, we don't know anything right now, which is kind of silly. There's no motivation. You don't know why you're playing. Void Veil, which we've revealed from that document. What's up, Elena? Good morning. Indicate that the Naga could be relevant. We also have a ton of hints of the Eastern Kingdom. Foreshadow. So this could definitely be a oh, two-part no. expansion. <laughs> we could get one part or one patch that starts Basically. out in the rebuilt and revamped Eastern Kingdoms, where we get new Gilneas, we get new Silvermoon, we get new Quadalas, we get Stromgard. We have a bunch of these local storylines that could even involve the Scarlet Crusade, and all of this could potentially <laughs> be related to building. Yeah, tight. Well, the strat is get gear. Don't do mechanics. 
should say it, all have pretty big shipyards that could lead us into this continent. Shipyards, so I'm telling you, man. Part of the storyline could Build lead us ships. into the dark side first. of Azeroth, the shadow of Azeroth, and the new continent. And this, if they do it like this, would be something an unprecedented expansion we itself. Play for loot. We could get a smaller scale cataclysm revamp on one continent, and we could go into another continent that we can explore. In terms of classes, an interesting idea that keeps been going around is Void Demon Hunters, That's where the true. Demon Hunters would get a Void spec and embrace like the Void instead of fail to get a new purpose. We could also get a bunch of new allied races, maybe the Scarlet Crusade, maybe other humans, maybe even ogres. Of course, all of this is just speculation, but there is definitely something what going difficulty on in the today? with the Void, Mythic. the Shadow of Azeroth, and a very That's likely revamp with all these new models and all these skins that we have been gathering throughout the years. Thank you for watching. Check out this Dragon yes. Fight, really just a warning expansion by clicking on the screen and check out the Nuts Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time. Great video.